Hi everybody, welcome back to A Glittery Life. I just wanna say thank you so much for hanging in there with me while I have not been updating very recently. It's been a rough two weeks over in my world, just going through some stuff personally and some stuff with some friends. Last week I had a friend in crisis and had to like basically put my life on hold and head to San Diego and just help with that. And that is, fortunately that situation is turning out well and she's doing great, but it's just been a little bit hectic and a little bit crazy. And you know, sometimes you just go through hard seasons and I would definitely classify um, this is a hard season for me, so I just appreciate your um, patience with me while I haven't uploaded a ton in the last couple weeks, and I want you to know I'm trying to get back on track. I have been busy, busy, busy at LA Fashion Week, um, going to as many events as possible, and I will be putting together a really cool video on the Sue Wong show that we went to. We had an awesome spot to view the new Sue Wong collection, the spring line, her spring line and it was so stunning, it was such an incredible experience, and I know most of you probably won't ever get to be at a high fashion like runway show, so I took as much video and photos as possible so I could make a video to share that experience with you because I don't know about you, but it was like a dream come true for me to be at something like that. So I wanna share that with you, I don't want you to miss that. So that's coming up soon this week as well, I'll be working on that. But I just wanted to do a really quick video on um, one of my favorite lip trends for fall. Now, you've heard me talk a ton about MAC Rebel and um, Vino and some of those other MAC colors that I love. And you have been seeing me rock that MAC Feed the Senses nude lip. But I want to talk to you about one of the other trends that I am so happy is carrying over into fall. That is the orange lip. Now I have been loving the orange lips since this spring when I got my first YSL lipstick in that bright corally orange and I just rocked it all summer long. But one of my favorite things is, is that it is all over the place for fall. So ladies, you do not have to put it away. So ladies, you don't have to put that orange away. You don't have to put that coral away. Keep it out, keep rocking it, figure out new ways to incorporate it. Like today I have a very dramatic purple eye um, with this like dark shirt. Um, that I'm loving. This was part of my like fall fashion haul, which I didn't make a video for. I'm really sorry. Maybe I should try to do that, but I've just I should probably do a collective haul over the last like couple months because I just haven't really done any haul videos. And um, but this shirt was for from Forever 21, and I love it. So anyway, I um, have I'm balancing these lips in my um, <laughs> like little shirt right now. But I want to show you some of my favorite orange lips that I'm going to be taking into fall that I think you should too. First, let's talk about what's on my lips. I'm so excited about this. On my lips is the Julie Hewitt Cheeky Cheek and Lip Shine. And it, my color is peachy, and I love this product. We just recently um, got, I just recently got this product um, at an event that we were at, and she was so kind to give us this and another lipstick. But can you see that? It is so cute. I'm actually wearing this on my cheeks as well today. Um, but I'm gonna swatch that so you can see what a good little like stain it is. So if you're like, not ready to like fully embrace like the full orange lip this is kind of a nice like way to start that so any sort of like sheer tint like that so so beautiful and i love it it's really easy to wear i just throw it in my purse and anytime i need to dab a little bit of color on my cheeks or my lips like that's a go-to for me um that's been a real go-to for me okay so i'm gonna keep going from light to dark so keeping on with this like kind of light theme um, you've heard me talk about it a million times. It's the Sugar Coral um, by Fresh Lip Treatment. It is amazing. It's like another kind of like step up though. You can see it's definitely more pigmented. Um, it has more of like a punchy coral to it. And it's just a perfect lip balm. I love it. So this is again, if you're wanting a little bit more of like a bolder lip, but not quite like orange. So that has been a favorite of mine since I bought it. Um, I'm going to add a gloss in there. This is the NYX Butter Gloss, and the packaging is such a mess. It was in a like a little lipstick bag that something like exploded on, and this is in Peach Cobbler, and I love this color, and it is high shine, very coral, like very orange. Love it. It's a perfect gloss. It looks amazing on its own. It looks great over a lipstick. And, um, you know, you can't go wrong with the NYX price point, too. I think $5 maybe for this gloss. Okay, up next is the um, L'Oreal Colorie Riche Lilac. 
and this is in I Lack You A Lot. And Melissa from Honey Bee Philosophy sent this to me, so thanks girl, like I love it. I think it's such a great color. Now this is definitely more on the orange red side of things, but it is very bold. It is such an awesome lip, and I love it. And you can see that right there. It is high packed, it's highly pigmented, it is packed with color, it is packed with shine, and it is so beautiful. And um, if you can still find these, I think they're in the, like the $7 price range. Um, okay, so next is my YSL uh, Rouge Volupte in color 15. This is still my only YSL lipstick and I don't even care, I love it so much. And this is definitely a very like orange. And it is so pretty, especially like for me, I have like such fair, like pale skin and um, it is really pretty. You can see me wearing this in uh, my Real Talk Tuesday video number one on forgiveness, which if you haven't watched that yet, you should go check those out. I promise I'm gonna start doing Real Talk Tuesdays again um, soon. I don't know when, but I know that you love them and I know that you miss them and I thank you for all the comments that you've sent about them. So anyway, this is the YSL and I just I have to show you the packaging just because I love this packaging so much. Like. If I had a million dollars, I would own every single lipstick that they make. So I just think they're so wonderful and they're so creamy. They're so pigmented. They last. They have really good staying power. And um, they just feel like such a luxury. Like, and they just feel like such a luxury item. I love it so much. And then my last orange that I literally am obsessed with, ever since my friends talked me into buying this this summer, um, I cannot get enough of this. And this is MAC Neon Orange. And it is definitely orange and it is so cute I'm not sure if I've even worn this in a video it is this right there and it is so amazing but it is orange 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 in fact I should put this on for you guys so you can see what this looks like on okay so I'm just gonna put this on so you can really see this I'm gonna put it right on over that like Julie Hewitt lip stain that I have on already I mean, I love it. Like, I want to get you, like, a good close-up of that. But, like, do you see? Like, it just pops my eyes out of my head almost. It's so bright. It's so beautiful. I actually wore this the other night to an event that we were all at for Fashion Week. And literally, I felt like my lips were, like, large and in charge and on display. It was so great. So, anyway, once again, this is MAC Neon Orange. And... So if you haven't embraced the orange lip trend yet, if you haven't gotten your corals on or your or your or, like orangey oranges on, I say there's no time like the present. Do it. Don't miss this trend and have like just a lot of fun with your look this fall. I think you can't go wrong with like a bold lip and I love the vampy lip. Listen, I have been rocking a vampy lip more days than not, but I'm also loving this like bright lip. So hopefully you will join me in this in taking this trend into fall. And don't forget, there's still some time left for you to enter my giveaway, which is in my last video, my NARS lip swatching uh, collection video. At the end is all the information about an awesome giveaway that I'm doing with, it is like the biggest giveaway that I've ever done. It is a couple hundred dollars worth of products and I don't want you to miss it. It's for my subscribers because I think you're so awesome. And and if you watch this, uh, if you're watching my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, it, there's no time like the president. So there's no time like the president? Uh, how about there's no time like the present? Anyway, go ahead, subscribe, and go leave me a comment on that last video, and uh, I would love for you to win. So I cannot wait to see who wins. There's so many of you who have entered, and I love you all so much that I wish you could all win. Maybe one of these days that I can, maybe one of these days that'll be possible. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day.